Nagalang-galang na punong lusod, lusod na Maynila, Alfredo Lim. Nagalang-galang na pangalawang pangulo, Jejomar Binay, Miss Didi Sitangko, ating kalihim ng DOTC, Ping De Jesus, Neda Secretary General, Kayetano, ay Director General Rader Cayetano Padranga, PCSO Chairperson Marjie Wico, representing the Cory Vets and the Yellow Ribbon Movement also, our PESA Director General Lilia de Lima, at napakarami ho itong listahan, sinabihan po ako tatlong pahina, baka may maiwan pa sa inyong lahat po, magandang hapon ngayong, ngayong araw na to. On behalf of the Aquino family, I would like to extend our sincere thanks to everyone who participated in this photo mosaic project. I hope we do not disappoint the representatives from the Guinness Book of World Records who are here to witness this tribute by the people for our mother, former President Cory Aquino. When she passed away almost a year ago, I must admit that at first I was a bit concerned that public support for the principles that she stood for had waned over the years. Did they feel that her struggle for truth, justice, and freedom, was it still relevant to them? At her passing, who would continue the good fight? However, I was more than reassured at the record numbers that flocked to LaSalle, Manila Cathedral, and the Manila Memorial Park to pay tribute to her and what she stood for. As we said during our final goodbye, when the nation joined us, it was an expression of tremendous love we did not expect. Thousands of people patiently waiting in line, enduring hunger and fatigue, marching long distances and coming together to escort her to her final resting place. On the other hand, beyond expressing sympathy, it was a resurgence of hope and a realization that each of us has a role in alleviating our common burden. This mosaic of photographs is a symbol of that hope. The real challenge, however, is in making Cory Aquino's example and legacy part of our daily lives. All through her life, she demonstrated love not only for her family, but also for every single Filipino. Remember this as you widen your horizons and realize that there are people who may not be as fortunate as you are. My mother confronted many challenges, and no matter how difficult they were, she never gave up. Remember this when you feel like surrendering to all your problems. I remember her best for what she taught me when she said, I could not live with myself knowing that I could have done something and I chose not to. That lesson about conviction was critical in my decision to run for the presidency. The burden that she once carried is now upon me. She managed to overcome it with the help of the people. I hope and pray that you will also be by my side so that the change that we committed to work on together will soon become a reality. Thank you and good day.